He's sick of seeing this. This connection is not private. It always happens, especially when we're self-hosting. We're playing around with services. They want to run on like HTTPS. And then since we're using self-signed certs, everything looks like this. And then you have to go to show details. And then you can go to visit this website. And then you can finally get in. I'm going to show you how to, you can get rid of this. You can use SSL certificates. And then have everything uh, reached over its domain name rather than using IP addresses. And this is keeping everything locally. It's just been able to access it via the HTTPS domain name with a valid cert. It just makes things so much cleaner. So in this video, I'm going to cover two services and how I use them to set up my DN my local DNS so I can access services via HTTPS using the domain name rather than IP address and port just to clean things up. So all of this magic DNS stuff is all happening via Pi-hole first. So let's have a look at Pi-hole and I'll show you the configuration and how things are working there. Now, every service that I'm talking about, Pi-hole and the other service, which is Nginx Proxy Manager, I've covered both of these services, so links to them will be in the description. So if you want to deploy these yourself, go check out those videos. I don't actually have Pi-hole in my Nginx Proxy Manager at the moment, so you can see I'm accessing it via the IP address, but this shows you the, the difference, right? It's so much cleaner to have that homepage.tiktoks.nz rather than the IP address. But there's a way to do, I'm going to get that added as well. What's happening here again, if you're not familiar with Pi-hole, it's a local network ad blocker as well as you can set it up for doing your DNS and also your DHCP as well. So if I go under local DNS and then DNS records, you can see here that I actually have my services here. So let's look at homepage for example. You can see I have homepage.tiktoks.nz and it's forwarding to this IP address. But you'll see this IP address doesn't actually have a port or anything. Like, what's happening here, right? So anytime you see the 113, that's going to Nginx Proxy Manager. So the key thing that Nginx Proxy Manager cares about when it comes in is this domain name, okay? That's the important part here is Pi-hole is mapping that domain name and it's sending it to Nginx Proxy Manager. That's what Pi-hole is doing. That's its job. And since it's also my local DNS, that means that anyone who types in homepage.tiktoks.nz, rather than going out to a website that doesn't exist, it knows to look for that local IP address because all of my devices, my router is sending out uh, the, the 192.168.68.107 up at the top here as the DNS server for all of the devices on my home network, which means I can resolve all of these names. And then these all get sent over to Proxy Manager. So let's follow the homepage.tiktoks.nz and let's go to Nginx Proxy Manager. So this is my uh, Proxy Manager here. Again, I have a video on this if you're keen to set it up. And if we come under Proxy Hosts, now let's imagine that for a second. We've, we've typed in homepage.tiktoks.nz. It's hit the DNS server. The DNS server knows that that needs to be sent to Nginx Proxy Manager. Nginx Proxy Manager gets that and what happens here is that it goes, oh cool, I've just got a request come in for homepage.tiktoks.nz right here. It goes in, okay, how do I handle this? Who, who, you know, where should I send this to? And I've set it up in the configuration to be sent to this address here. So if I go to this address, hit enter, it's just homepage. The IP address and the port it's running on on my local network, and that's how we, most of the time, we access these things. So now what's happening here is if I actually go into the settings here, it knows, first off, Nginx Proxy Manager knows where, where to send it to. So it's get, hitting the container and it's serving that, right? But it's not just serving it, it's also putting uh, certificates on it. So I can access it via HTTPS and it's got certificates and it just looks so much cleaner. So when you're needing to not just, you know, a homepage just runs on HTTP, but if I had an HTTPS service, like something like Portainer and whatnot, then it's the same process and you can actually give it that certificate to get rid of that warning. So if I go to SSL, you can see that I have a certificate, it's like a wildcard certificate I have set up. So anything that's using a subdomain of techdocs.nz can then, will be able to get the certificate and I just turn that on. And then under SSL certificates, you know, this is where I've got the certificates all set up. If you, again, if you're wanting to go through an actual walkthrough of setting up Nginx Proxy Manager, go watch the video that I've linked below. But you can see that I've just set up this certificate provider or my domain techdocs.nz is hosted in Cloudflare. So I'm using Cloudflare certificate provider as well to just, you know, hand out the certificates. So I'm using Let's Encrypt um, with Cloudflare and that's just where I get all my certificates. It makes things so much easier and so much cleaner. So yeah, that's pretty much how I'm setting up my local DNS and how I'm re resolving, you know, 
IP address and ports with actual fully qualified domain names and they all have SSL certificates. It just yeah makes things so much cleaner. And just to show you the cert, so if I come up here and click on the little padlock and go show certificate, you can see it's using that wildcard certificate and you can see all the details here as well. So you can see that it's a Let's Encrypt certificate and stuff like that. So yeah, it's awesome. And it just, yeah, it just makes things so much cleaner. I can just access everything via a domain name. I don't have to remember IP addresses and ports. So that's how that's all working. But let's, I'll just take you through a process of actually setting it up so I can show you. So at the moment, I've got WhatsApp Docker. If I click on this, that's act at the moment, that's just resolving to that IP address and port. I don't want that. I want to clean that up. So I'm going to set up a local URL for this. So I'm probably going to call it like whatsapp.techdocs.nz. So if I actually try search for that, I'll show you. So whatsapp.techdocs.nz. This is going to try to hit the internet. And it's not going to find anything, right? Uh, and since everything goes through your local DNS first, I can set this up in Pi-hole. So if I go to my Pi-hole instance, and then go local DNS, DNS records. So let's first add the entry. So let's call this whatsapp.techdocs.nz. Now the IP address we need to put in here is not specifically the one for WhatsApp. Uh, it's more the Nginx proxy manager, right? So let's put that in. Uh, 192.168.68.113. And we're going to send that to proxy manager and proxy manager will sort out the rest. So we can add that. Here we go. Custom DNS uh, added. So let's go to our proxy manager. And then what we're going to do is add a new one. So add proxy host domain name. So what's up.techdocs.nz. We'll add that. And now that IP address, um, I think this is actually running on the same server the proxy manager is running on. Let me just double check that. Yeah, 113. Okay, cool. So 113. And that port, double checking, was 3005. So 3005. And we've got an SSL. And since we've already got that certif certificate configured, I can click here. We'll force SSL and put HTTP2 support on. And we'll hit save. Now we'll scroll down and look for our new entry. Here it is, whatsapp.techdocs.nz. We can see that's online. Now, if I do whatsapp.techdocs.nz. Now I'm trying to hit the address. You can see at the top here, whatsapp.techdocs.nz. And I'm, it's important I show you this because this is just the, the DNS taking its time to actually renew and update, right? It, it can take a while. And a good way to test this is just to open up another browser or to clear all the history and stuff on this browser. I don't want to do that. So if I go to another browser, like Google Chrome, so there's my Google Chrome. So now let's put in whatsapp.techdocs.nz. So whatsapp.techdocs.nz. I've already searched for it. I've already checked. And let's hit enter. And you can see I can now hit it. And we have the certificate and all of that good stuff as well. So there you go. That's the domain name set up with a certificate. And that's how easy it was to add it using the combination of Pi-hole and Nginx Proxy Manager. So yeah, short but sweet, uh, and that's how I set up my local DNS so I can get rid of that pesky warning. Um, and this works for you know even services that don't have a, uh, HTTPS when you spin them up. You can still get it using HTTPS and having certificates, and just to make things yeah so much cleaner, and it just looks way more legit and professional. <laughs> even though it's the home lab, it's still nice to follow like best practices and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, any questions, join the Discord or ask below and I'm more than happy to help you out. And then yeah, or again, all the links for the videos are also below. Check them out. Thank you so much for all the support and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.